Hey everybody, how's it going? It's uh, Saturday, got a couple hours off, and I am in Bethalto, Illinois today, checking out an air show. Let's check it out. Airplanes. Pretty sweet, huh? Freaking rights. So, uh, me and one of my club mates rode our bikes over, and uh, we're going to check out some airplanes. Oh man, I'm so excited. I love airplanes. I love them. But, uh, pretty cool stuff. If I see something really interesting, which will probably pretty much be everything, I'll uh, show it to you guys. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool, man. There's all kinds of cool planes down here. There's like that dude right there. That dude right there. That little dude over there. Got this chrome thing over here, man. That thing is shiny. Holy cow. Blind your, uh, you know, if you're in a dogfight or something, you can just blind the other guy. But uh, they, got, they got one of their crash trucks over there for sale from the fire uh, department here at the, the airport. I'm going to try and get my department to buy that. Got some fire trucks over there. All in all, it's pretty cool, man. Lots of neat, uh, lots of neat stuff. When I was a kid, I was like totally into airplanes, like big time. Like I probably could have walked through here and like told you something about every single airplane. But uh, you know, you get a little older, your interests change. Now it's motorcycles and cars and stuff like that. But man, airplanes are so cool. So freaking cool. cranked up the spring mechanism and they climbed aboard with the crank and let the thing spin itself. Yeah, it's got electric start. Little Johnny runs out to the airplane. Little Johnny. <laughs> there's, there's little Johnny, there's little Johnny, there's little Johnny.
pretty damn quiet. It won't be for there's no muff over there. Is that idle? There's muff. Yeah, and he's running on half half the magneto. Uh, the smaller modern planes they have mufflers on them. They're pretty quiet. This is straight dumb. He's talking on the radio. He's getting the radio clearance, taxi clearance. He's uh, there you go. He's cleared it out. No solid surfaces on that. It's all plastic. You know, shrunk to the heat. That's awesome. Yeah. I used to have eight or nine of those. Yeah, I kept, <laughs> kept one at every airport. <laughs> so here was the cockpit of one of the airplanes. I thought it was pretty cool. And this is the... Uh, crash truck that was for sale there here's a shot of uh, the engine on the uh, yellow and blue plane the biplane and here's another shot of another cool biplane next stop we headed over to the car show that was going on hey, in the parking everybody, how's lot going? so we checked out the car show there's just uh, most of your normal run of the mill stuff over there this dude had an old Crosley with a uh, Hyundai four cylinder in it. it was pretty awesome he said this the block in those is like the same as the old Chrysler Conquest, so you just made it up to that old transmission, and you're good to go for rear wheel drive. And he had this other car, it had two Mitsubishi six cylinders in it. And he started telling me about how you start the front one and engage this magnetic clutch, and it spins the back one up and starts that one, and then you drive off and this and that. And then, so turns out he's just yanking my chain. The guy just put the front one in there just so he could yank people's chains. <laughs> So, show and the go. Yeah, he called it the front one was show and the back one was go. So, freaking crazy dudes at the car show. It was a good time. The front engine was a dummy. Oh, a dummy. yep, front engine was a dummy. But, show and go. Uh, that's it for the show, guys. So, talk to you later.